there mortals, I'm Jensen and welcome back to the free Yasha DLC for Remnant 2. In the previous episode we have learned absolutely nothing. There are zero things that we learned in the last episode. Uh, let me just resize this because that looks weird as hell. Here we go. That was strange. In the previous episode we basically got up to this checkpoint here, which is the boss. There is a boss right around this corner. And I have installed a bunch of mods that were otherwise broken. Doggo's still here with us. I was just making sure that he actually is still here with us. I am getting the hang of the controls once again. However, they are still a little bit fiddly. So who's this? Is it just this crystal? Is that who we're... Oh no, it's a giant pot, isn't it? Oh no! Oh, this is going to be a puzzle boss. Ooh, that looks like a death beam. Yep, that is definitely a death beam. Okie dokie. Uh, let's roll through that. Because it sucks. Okay, this guy is a regenerator. Okay, he is actually a death beam. I probably should have seen that coming, to be quite honest. Doggo got us back up, which is uh, good of him. He didn't have to do that. Okay, they're going to spew a bunch of these rocks at us. I'm going to pop this one class right here to put a bunch of uh, uh, status effects on him. And then we are going to continue onwards and upwards. We are going to keep on doing a bunch of damage to these crystals, I think. Actually, I wonder if there's anything for not doing anything to the crystals. Because there's always ult kills, isn't there? And every Remnant game is always going to be an ult killer. So I think that... Oh my god, he's doing two at once. That's crazy, actually. That's insane. Oh. Uh, let's do a big old attack right there. What are those? What are those? Okay, it seems like they're just uh, kind of like snail trailing a bunch of crap around us, which is fine. Probably want to impale him with a bunch of these. Whoops, I just keep on spamming the button. Uh, let's pop a bunch of these on the object right here. And then we will electrocute it for a huge whopper of some damage. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I don't know what these things actually do above us here. Uh, they kind of crawl around like snails, I think. Fortunately, we've got unlimited stamina, so absolutely perfect. Uh, whoops. No! Oh, we were so close to getting our second resurrection as well. Okay, I may be dead, but I'm not disheartened. We're going to go through. I feel like that fight is actually a lot easier than it looks. We just need to get the hang of the controls a little bit better. We still have four dragon hearts, which is significantly fewer than I remember, but I still think that we should be a-okay. Okay. Let's start popping the pegs straight off the bat. We'll dodge through that. And we'll unload all of our pegs. We'll dodge through this. It seems like the attack patterns are basically all the same as the ones that we saw in the last fight. However, we still have to deal with the annoying consequence of him being a regenerator. Let's go through here and then we'll do some big attacks. And we will dodge through that death beam. No, we won't. We'll take damage while dodging through it. And we'll go through... Nope, we'll actually take damage on that one too. Uh, we'll recover our health just by doing lots and lots of damage. I feel like we need to just be really, really aggressive with how we're kind of playing this. Right? Okay, there's a bunch of these snaily things. We just took a gigantic load of laser to the face. But it's kind of fine, actually. I'll dodge through here. Doggo's nearly down, which is not good. It's actually a big bad thing. In fact, Doggo is now down. So we are probably now kind of stuck with what and who we are. Doggo might not actually be the best option for this fight, to be quite honest. I'm just kind of spamming dodge at this point. All right, let's do some deep yes. He is pulling us in. That's not good. Okay, we died because Doggo was dead. Maybe Doggo's not actually an option for this fight. Maybe we should swap him out for something that's a little bit harder hitting. Or we could use a hard hitting gun. Or we could just keep doing what we're doing. Honestly, I feel like maybe just doing what we're doing is probably going to be best case scenario. I think if we can resurrect Doggo, we will. But we won't make a habit of doing so if we can. Okay, I'm going to pop all of these pegs right here. Good. And then I'm going to roll right in close. I'm going to pop my special. I'm going to dodge through that laser right there. Do a little bit of electrical damage while we dodge through here. We'll swap our weapons and we'll do a little bit of crit damage, I suppose. 
I'll go through this right here, which is just fine. And through this later too. Doing heaps of crit damage to that. I just literally face tank that laser. Pretty funny. Okay, what are we... What's happening now? What are you doing? Okay, more lasers it seems. I'm just gonna keep on firing. Okay, good. We're doing really good actually from this one. We've almost got him all the way down to half health, which is pretty damn good. Uh, we can reload while we kind of dodge these, I say. Okay, we just got downed because we took two hits in the exact same moment, which is a bit of a damp fart, but we're up because of Doggo, which is probably our last bit of good grace. Okay, let's keep an eye on these so that we kind of know if we're about to be ganked by any of them. Oh, lasers. Did not realize we were going to be lasers. I'm being pulled in. And now we are good. And I'm still being pulled in. Not good. Oh dear. What is that? Is that a tentacle? Okay, good. I dodged that. Fantastic. My god, this place. Well, I don't know what just hit me. Okay. Good. We dodged that, which is fantastic. The Cinderclad Forge. This thing is actually terrifying. Okay. He's gone back down to his... Oh, he exposed his, his doodad. That's good to know. We died, so obviously we didn't get to survive it. I feel like that second portion, we should probably just try our best to outlast it rather than anything else. And then we'll just unload onto the... Uh, electrical doodad in the middle of him. So here we just want to outlast him, do a little bit of damage as frequently as we can. I'm going to dodge through this and I'm going to maybe dodge through that again. And we'll do a bit of DPS right here. We'll dodge through this laser beam. And I think as soon as he stops, good, we'll pop our skill right there and do a bunch of status effects to him. Okay, let's go through. He's burning, he's poisoned, he's not in a good place. Excellent. We probably want to regenerate all of our probes for this gun while we have the ability to do so. And dodge through those so I don't get hit by any of those. Now, what's going to be next? That is the real question. More lasers and some dodge beams. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We'll dodge through that, of course. And we'll dodge through that, of course. Then we'll do a bit more Tesla damage. Try and get all of our probes back up and running. Dodge through that and we'll dodge back to the other side, of course. Uh, let's get the hard-hitting gun out. The absolute ass kicker of a weapon. Uh-oh. Okay, we might be in a bad place. We're being pulled, which is not good. Almost just took a bunch of damage from that. There. Okay, we shouldn't have taken damage from that, but we did. Uh, we didn't take damage from that, which is awesome. Now we have to outlast. Outlast and overcome. That's the name of the game. Okay, he's going to do an attack. I'm going to regenerate some HP. He's going to attack on the other side of the map. What the hell? Okay, we are on fire somehow. We still really need to regenerate. Let's use a dragon heart, actually. Probably going to be the best option. Okay, he just did a gigantic sweep on us. Okay, we've got access. Uh, let's pop a homing missile, and then we will just fire at will. Go, go, gadget, damage. Okay, we've got unlimited ammo now. It's probably going to close this gap. There he is. Okay, good. This is a fight that just gets more and more hectic as it goes on, which is pretty crazy, actually. Okay, kind of want to go on that side. Good. And we don't necessarily want to be hit by any of these little beams either. So we'll keep our distance. Oh, I didn't see that laser right there. That's embarrassing. Uh, we'll stay on this side for a little bit. Doggo is... Still actually face tanking shot at point blank, which is impressive. Uh, we'll duck to the other side of here, dodging through two different attacks. Okay, that's not good. Let's use a dragon heart, get all of our health back. And then we'll start firing again. We will kind of duck, dive, dip, dive, and dodge all of those attacks. Um, very effectively, too. Probably need to use another dragon heart. Let's do that. Okay, good. Did dodge right as we used it too, which is very effective. Uh, didn't want to dodge that way. Want to dodge in this way. Good. And now we attack again. And we attack again, please. We've almost got him, by the way. We've almost got him on the uh, on the ropes. Here we go. We got him. Nice. Okay, good. Huge bit of 
frame drop right there. We got a Forge Ember. I don't know if we got an alt kill or anything, but we did kill him right as he was about to expose his crystal. Might be something unique. Might not be. Hard to tell, actually. Okay, let's come straight through here. We, that was actually a pretty good run, that one. We beat him in 10 minutes, which is good. Good for a blind boss fight. Okay, we'll pop up through here. We got a free chest, which is quite nice. A single free chest, but still a free chest nonetheless. Uh, I feel like we're about to get some lore. Because we did kind of just kick a little bit of ass. Just a little bit. We're also still wearing this yucky Red Widow armor, which uh, gives us basically no <laughs> um, protection from anything that we've discovered so far. We are doing well, though. We are doing really, really, really well. We're doing really well. Real question is, what's next? That was actually a really fun boss fight. I did like that one. It was kind of like a... Um, a, uh, a bullet sponge arena. Something along, along those lines. Okay, we finally got a checkpoint, which is awesome. We're actually going to touch this on account of our dragon hearts being almost minimum. Please? Okay, there we go. Good. We did a touch, and now we are going to back off. Uh, here's this guy again with his murals. Such power. Okay, that's the Empress. I don't know who that is. That could be somebody else. That is a Thunder Priest. Uh, we've also got some... I don't remember what those ones are called. They're not palace guards. They're kind of like found in the wild, but they're really big. Don't know who that is. Okay, Mural looks pretty good. Let's talk to this guy. Hello. <laughs> it is nice to see a familiar face around these parts. Even if it is a strange and hornless one. Hmm? Thanks. It has arrived at an opportune time. See, I have found another mural. Yeah, I can see. This one is more than I could have ever dreamed of. This discovery is downright exhilarating. You don't say. The implications, the possibilities. It's overwhelming in the best of ways. <clears throat> Excuse me. I <laughs> have a tendency to get carried away. Is my Paxil tech friend in need of something? Yeah, give me some lore. Uh, oh, I've got questions, actually. Research we'll see what he has for sale. Unfortunately. Because we took a look at a store last time. Here's this $100,000 ring, which is absolutely insane to think about. Uh, we want his lore. We are so alive. Uh, questions. Okay, what did you discover? Well, Thalos survived the plague that had long haunted the band. After falling ill, he began hearing an unusual sound that seemed to come from the ground itself. Music. <clears throat> Strange music, with no instruments or voice to carry it. He ventured out to find the source. What he found was her, Lydusa, a goddess of stone. In exchange for a year of companionship away from his people, she promised to cure him and give him the means to cure the others. He agreed. What happened to his tribe? His time away. The plague had ravaged his tribe, but he was able to save those who remained and start over anew. The goddess had granted him an unusually long life, and he ruled over the Pan for several prosperous centuries. The Pan worshipped their new goddess, building a temple and singing her praises. Here is the exciting part. It is said that she grew fond of the Pan and actually taught them how to use her power over the living stones. Okay, so that's how they have, like, thunder. They've got thunder affinity, don't they? Magic rocks? That's silly. We have a magic rock, actually. Uh, this means a lot to you. I'm confused. Uh, I'm confused. What is all... Th this means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. Everything, as it were. See, I have been chasing this dream since I was a child. I was a commoner. Born for nothing but bloodshed and servitude. But I did not want that for myself. <laughs> I wanted to believe the lost tribe was real, that they were out there somewhere. So I studied, became as clever and useful as I could, and at a young age, I was chosen to serve Genus herself. After many years of loyalty, I was assigned to a mission to explore the uncharted jungle. It was the chance I had been waiting for. So, 
Here I am, chasing my dreams across cave and jungle. And finally, finally, I am nearing the answers I have long sought. I am on the trail, my friend. They could still be out there. Or if not, perhaps the secret of their power over stones. Good grief, I hope we get Stormcaller as a weapon mod for this. Change our whole society. Oh, but one step at a time, I must not get ahead of myself. There is still much to unravel. I can hardly stand the excitement. I'm confused. What is all this about? Left their homeland to escape the plague. Several ships were separated from the rest and landed here. Thelos was their leader and helped build a new society. But he soon fell ill with that same plague. I don't it's have any more questions. Be racing, but are its pockets feeling generous? Always, but only if you actually be have careful, things which you do not. So we didn't really learn anything there. We knew that there was a plague. Uh, we've seen that a bunch in the base game. I was hoping that maybe they could explain what the plague is. Oh, that hey, this is where we wanted to be in the first place. Okay, let's hit this lever. Is it gonna like spin this thing around? Ooh. It's like sinking it down. Oh, I see. Right. Come and get some. What? What do you mean? We haven't aggroed anyone. Cool. I bet there's like an underground as well. I know that we can go through there now, which is pretty cool. I don't think there's anywhere else though. I don't think there's anywhere else that we have necessarily unlocked. Oh. Did this just open for us? Cool. Uh, this is a lift, right? Yeah, it is a lift. Okay, I'm gonna get my long range ass kicker gun out. Just in case there's somebody on the other side of here. Which there is not. We just confirmed that with a single lift. shot. Okay, so now we have unlocked the egress back to this location as well. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention, uh, I got those mods working. I installed all of those mods, and now the uh, the game caps at 20. Trait level 20, and we can get unlimited uh, trait mods. So, I'm actually going to put a couple of points into Bark Spin. Probably not Bloodstream. Fitness, Evade Distance, that's probably going to be a bit crazy. We dumped into Siphoner, which was a good idea. There's Elemental Damage Reduction, which might be good later. We've got Rugged here, which increases our summon health. I'm surprised we haven't stuck any points into this one just yet, because Doggo is invaluable. Right, uh, that allows us to be revived at different speeds. We've got Recovery here, which regenerates stamina, which we're not even spending, so useless. We've got all of these perks from our traits, from our classes. There's Vigor that adds health, there's Stamina, useless. Mod Power Generation could actually be a really, really good one. Skill Cooldown. Not so much useful, because we haven't been using it too much. Handling might be a really good one. Reduces weapon spread and recoil. Uh, bloodstream, no. Blood bond. Summoner minions absorb 0% of damage taken by the caster. Not really that helpful. Damage reduction, we've maxed it out. Increases mod power generation from melee damage. Yuck. Amplitude, AoE, aura range. Don't know what the hell that is. Scholar, experience bonus. Maybe we want to start dumping into... No, just to fix classes. Why would we bother? So, probably want to start dumping into mod power generation. There we go. And... Maybe elemental damage reduction should be our next one. I think so. Let's commit these changes. We just doubled our... What do we double? We doubled something. I'll let you guys figure out what. The minimap just updated and it looked really silly. Okay, so the obvious path is to go this way, but there's also the path downwards now that has sunk somewhere else. Possibly there's something down here that we can go and identify. Okay, the ladders are still all over the place. These appear to be attached to the gigantic stone structure. Why they didn't invest a little bit more into the ladders is absolutely beyond me. I can't figure out why. Simply because if it's going to be permanent, why wouldn't you just stick something that lasts a bit longer than, than wood on here? Like stairs. Why wouldn't they put stairs on here instead of ladders? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> like it straight up just doesn't make a, a lick of sense. Probably didn't need to use this ladder again. 
Okay, so we haven't been on this floor yet. There may be rude dudes to attack us. But since we haven't seen any just... Ooh, is this a secret? Or is it not? Maybe it's not a secret. Nope, doesn't appear to be a secret. Just ease of access. Okay, so down here, we might be going into a tomb. We might get ambushed, but we do have the Tesla gun. Yep, we're being ambushed. Where are they? Where are they at? Whoa, that's... Secret. Are you serious? No shot! It just insta-killed me! Oh, that is rough. That is super stupid. Okay, I probably should have known that it was quicksand, though, to be quite honest. So there's a trap room right down at the bottom, and there was no kind of, like, save point. There was nowhere to save, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, I think it's probably going to be fine, though. Uh, okay. Okay, good. There we go. Come on, doggo. Let's go. Why not? Bye, doggo. I'll see you at the destination. Okay, so let's push on through here. There were no enemies ahead of us, were there? So it's just a straight shot downwards. Okay, let's go. We'll regenerate that health by the time we get to the trap room. I can almost guarantee it. Don't worry. We just need to basically take these ladders down as we go. All right, one here. Good. One here. And we're just going to run off the ledge for this last one. In fact, we could even just jump. Leap off the edge like some stupid ape. Okay, let's go all the way this way. I can actually see where I died on the mini-map. It's pretty funny. Alright, here we go. So, in here... There's instant death. So, is this like quicksand? Okay, that's all of them. Can we just crouch under? Nope. Okay. I love how one of these fires into the column over here. Alright, so... We dodge this one. We dodge this one. We dodge this one. And 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 we dodge this. There we go. What is this? Disciple Mantle! We just got a new set of armor! Wow! Okay. Oh, it looks awesome! Looks really cool! Okay, let's equip it all. It's probably better than what we're wearing as well. Yeah, it is. It's heavy armor. Damn, that looks sick! Look at this! It's not a hidden wall, is it? No. So, we could probably die here and we'll be fine. But, I'm not going to. Okay, good dodge, me. Good. 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 Not gonna take a chance. And we're good. Okay, we are kind of heavy rolling, but we're just at the limit where we can actually just not flop. Let's go back up. Man, this armor looks cool. I like it. Let's go back up and we will try and find ourselves the common path. Rather than the path that we just took, which was a bloodied trap land. Much like the game, Bloody Trap Land. Up here. There's another ladder that we will take in DD. We'll sprint up here if we can. We got like a feathery cape too. Oh, it's not like feathers actually. It's more like the root, I suppose. Oh, actually, since there is kind of like root on the cape, maybe there is the potential for an alliance with Yasha and the root. And we're currently wearing armor that would... Be given to somebody who kind of fought for the root. Rather than, you know, just being a treasonous bastard. Alright, let's go this way. Because this is the way we're supposed to go. We still have the dream capture on our back, but I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to do to us. Alright, I thought that was a, a dude. It's not. Are there any dudes? That's a hole. Good to know. Oh, hello there, sir. I did not see you. Okay, let's uh, do a bunch of rolls this way. Okay, there's a lot of them, actually. I just want to get to the end here. Holy hell! Okay, I'm rolling this way. Oh, damn, that's not good. What? Where the hell did it come from? Right, Doggo's getting us up, which is awesome. 
I'm running. Ow. Let's go through here. I'm going through here. Oh, that was close. Now, since we can go through here, we can actually go back and start attacking every, everybody that we saw. I think we should do that. I think we should go back and assert ourselves. Maybe after we touch stones. Oh, what's this? It's a gigantic necropolis of some sort, it seems. Okay, we'll touch it, of course. The Bloodless Throne is where we are. All right, now that we've touched this, let's go on forwards. Oh, this is similar to the Labyrinth. What the hell is that? I, it's neutral, it seems. That's what the other guy said. Oh no, I'm possessed! I am made of questions. What did you do to me? Did you translate everything for me? Beware, hopeless beast. You gaze upon steadfast Lydusa. Spirit of the land, nymph of the glittering grotto. Hello, Lydusa. The ground beneath you shakes and quakes and tosses your fro. When boulders tumble and crush from above, when the deep, dark caves twist and lead you astray, that's Lydusa's wrath. Fascinating. Now speak, before I petrify your flesh to never-moving stone. Why do you trespass here? Well, it's a free DLC, that's why I'm here. Uh, I'm just exploring. Exploration is thin-veiled shelter for intrusion. You wish to steal from me, like all the other wicked beasts. Why? But beasts will take anything from Lydusa, not anymore. For what's most precious to me has already been taken. Well, tell me. Maybe I can help. The hooved ones. They stole Lydusa's precious thing. Without it, I can't tell my singing stones to cease their song of wrath. I'm not going to say your dumb rocks tried to kill me. She just told me that it's not her fault. Yes. You made the living stones? The singing stones belong to Lydusa. Once they sang only sweetly. It was my magic that first sung them to life. A song to make them twirl and dance like wind-caught sand. But the wicked beasts twisted my sweet song to screams. I screamed and screamed. Now... Poor Lydusa has lost something precious. The beasts stole it and locked it away. I can't sing without it. You, hopeless beast, will find my precious thing and return it to me. Fine! Do you feel the stone flesh within, turning your inside cold and still? No. That is my curse. The touch of Lydusa. And I won't lift it until you bring me what I seek. I mean, we could just jump off a ledge, respawn, and have a completely new body. All right, what should I look for exactly? I... I... I don't remember. But it was precious to me. And it was sundered. Stolen. Without it, I am shadow split. I am not me. I am not my Dusa. When you find it, beast, you will know that it's mine. That it is precious. Now go, before you become petrified and useless. I have some questions. Few mortals deign to ask. They only demand. Okay, so what happened to the pen what here? Happened to them? What happened to them? Ask their corpse dust what happened to them. The wicked beast took what was not theirs. Now their squished flesh rots into loam. Well, sounds like they deserve- That's a bit xenophobic. Whatever they did, they didn't deserve death. Medusa was kind. She gave and gave. Wisdoms, magics, even the sweet, lilted song of the stones. But it was not enough for the beasts. Never enough. Not even in the end. Who 
wicked, wicked beasts. They deserved their deaths and more. Well, as a uh, verified mass murderer in this game, I can tell you that they probably did not deserve their death. What is this, this place? This wistful, empty hollow was the throne room of Huth King Thalos. But I didn't visit him here. No, not once. I couldn't stand the mollycoddles of the mortals. Yet I sense him here still. His life's imprint, drifting in the dust memory of this hollow. So I stay. Well, tell me about him. My Thalos, son of Colquet and king of the Hooved. He arrived at this land lost and blighted, and one day stumbled upon my sleepy grotto. He sung me the sad song of his people, fractured from their herd. Such a poor and pitiful beastie he was. Sweethearted Lydus secured him of his plague blight in exchange for a year and a day. A year and a day spent with me. Was it worth it? What would a spirit want with a king? Her sisters. Poor Lydusa had grown so lonesome. My singing stones were my only companions. Thalos and I spent each day together. I taught him the song of the stones. And we sang and danced atop the cliff tops. From dawn till dusk. Our bond peaked higher than the mounts, more and deeper than the depths. A bond no other beast could ever understand. Okay, this earth elemental fell in love with an actual flesh creature. What happened after the year was oh, up? How I did not wish him to go. But he was a hoof king, and his people were his heart's grotto. He returned to them, and as a final gift, I taught him the cure touch for his people's blight. He built me a temple within his golden city. And he would visit me again and again, for I would not allow his life song to fade. Right, so there's how he got, became immortal. He was taken from sweet Lydusa. Taken. Stolen. Taken by the wicked beasts. Terrible wicked beasts. I will speak of them no more. We know that she's the only spirit here, but uh, let's confirm it. The only it. one here, but not the only spirit. My sisters have all scatter danced to the wind to spread flower bloom and newborn springs. Only steadfast, lonesome Lydusa remains. Well, why don't you leave? I, I can't. I cannot go, beast. Not until I take back what is mine. Not until I'm me again, unbroken from all these pieces. Made whole. Until then, I remain here. Do you know the pan wandering around? So that is the dreadful stench drenched upon you. Hoofed ones, here. No, no, no. They should all be gone. My singing stones will crush this wonder hoof. This one isn't like the others. I trust him. This beast is as naive as a newborn pebble. The hoofed ones are all mucking dirt water on their inside. Soft. Sweet Lydusa taught them the song of the stones. Singing stones to heat their food pots, cradle their little ones, carry their packs. Yet still they took, still they stole, still they hurt. I too trusted them once. I thought them harmless. But only lovely Thalos was a gem carved from a different rock. And the wicked ones took him too. This Wanderhoof had dare not intrude upon Lydusa's secret place, or my singing stones will shred him through. I don't have any more questions. Are you still here? Well, I do have a lot of questions. Yes, leave. You must find what was stolen and bring it here. Okay, so we have to go and find the king. We can attack her, it seems. But maybe that wouldn't be the best idea in the world. There is a door up there. I don't think we can use it. Okay, let's persevere onwards and through to here. I don't know why that one 
piece of ground has to go. Oh, I see. They're all disappearing now. Understood. Uh, we'll hit this elevator right here. And we'll see what else this DLC has to offer. Because, quite frankly, I am intrigued. It does not seem like it's going to tell us about Yasha at all. Or even any of the lore in here. But it's more of its own kind of standalone story. Whoops. I don't think I meant to fall down here. What's down, what's down this little crevice here? Secret wall? No. Secret wall? No. Secret wall? No. Okay, I feel like there's supposed to be a room down there, but we didn't get the roll on it. Okay, next area. I don't know what we're looking for anymore. It could be literally anything. It could be literally anything. It could even be the corpse of the king himself. Or even like his scepter or something like that. I don't want to give it up though. If I find the king's scepter, I'm keeping it. Okay, we've just hit the luminous veil. This place is horrible. Hello there, friendo. Whoa, okay. It seems like this orb right here is what we need to kind of find and bring back. If I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure who that is. Yeah, I'm lost. What's up, buddy? Choice. Sometimes one must do what must be done. They had no choice. Hmm? Between what? <laughs> Forgive me, my friend. I have a lot on my mind. I found another piece of the story, and I am another step closer to the truth. It is tragic. Bloody. A betrayal, some might say. But they would be wrong. That is just the way of things. Trust me. I know all too well. Is this the king? Does the Puxel Tech need something? I have new items on offer. I feel like this is the king. What have to say? Well. Anything new? No. Really? Yeah. Why do you waste my time? Someone must. Oh, definitely the king, or at least like the prince. Hey, Mads, welcome back. So Walt here what is, is giving us some lore. Puxel Tech mind. You seem upset. What did you find Christus out? Was for in service to the goddess and she taught them alone to wield the power of the living stones a simple thing only from what i can gather heating pots on command lulling young ones to sleep and things of the like but there was so much more potential this divine power was right at their fingertips but she selfishly kept it to herself it must have been maddening Yes, I'm certain it was. Oh, I'm starting to see both sides of the coin here. Do I have a, a, a Discord account so I can see, you can send me the edits? Yes, I do actually. Go into any of the videos that I've published recently. Look at the description. You'll find a link to my Discord. Uh, they had no choice but to give, give up, up, right? On destiny? <laughs> my friend the Puxeltech does not know what it is saying. They made a plan to trap her. One day a year, she took mortal form and required Thalos to lie with her. Our noble king was dubbed the Bloodless King because he never sired a child. It was because of her. He was under her spell. She was less powerful in her mortal form. So when that night came around, they used their own ancient magics and captured her. Thelos was enraged and fought back, killing his own kind. Yeah, they had no choice but to capture him as well. I imagine this is supposed to be like that exception, the bastard child of those two. What happened next? Thelos was driven mad by the goddess. He would not listen to reason. So they imprisoned him and took control of the kingdom. Usur. Knowing the goddess was fond of her royal pet, they bartered. His life in exchange for the secrets of her power. They got what they wanted, what they needed to safeguard their society. Using her power, they were able to create living constructs to do their bidding. And so, the pen went from living like savages to an era of swift advancement. But then the automation attacked. Imagine having such power in the palm of one's hand. Power like that could change the fate of our people, even those deemed unworthy of the Thane fruit. It is tragic, but that is the way of history. 
of the world. One must rise from tragedy, stronger than before. The secret of this power must still be around here somewhere. I can feel it. If I can point you in the right direction. This day will live on in the annals of history forever and ever. Okay, why are you so obsessed? I feel like he's supposed to be the bastard child of the king and the goddess. Why? Why? Because I have sacrificed everything for this knowledge. For this power that I am on the cusp of unearthing. This could change everything for me, for all commoners, for all of Yesha. It has no idea what I have endured to get here. The suffering, the loneliness, the ridicule. How the Lanier laughed and laughed at poor Wolf. It was humiliating. And then there were those wasted, tortuous years serving Genus. That cruel tyrant who none of us chose. Doing anything she asked of me. Anything. Okay, so uh, those who are worthy of the, of the Thane fruit got to eat the Thane fruit, which increased their longevity. The, it increased their lifespan. Those who were not worthy uh, had to live a shorter life because they did not get to eat the Thane fruit. I feel like this guy here has to be a child of the king, and potentially his mother was some kind of bastard qualifier essentially not the queen or even could be the king but i feel like the king was becoming a little too obsessed with the goddess left the queen or the concubine or the mistress or whatever you want to call it uh and this guy was the product of of that so he's very angry i added you as a friend i'll add you too i'll add you on discord what sort of things did you do i did everything she asked of me and she asked a great deal Whenever there was blood to be spilled, there I was in the night. Dagger in hand. Important figures. Commoners like me. Even children. It was the only way to prove my loyalty. I did not mean to. I, I, I did not want to, but I had to do it. That was the only way she would ever trust me enough to explore the uncharted jungle. It was for the greater good. It really was. I just... Wish I could forget their eyes. The look of betrayal in their eyes as they breathe their last breath. As long as I live, I never want to see that look again. It looks more like a Luke kind of guy, not Walt. He, he picked Walt. It's, it, I didn't pick Walt. He picked Walt. And I'm pretty sure he's been cooking meth for a long time as well. Oh my god, it's a goat. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's a goat. He's a goat. Uh, but he's not the greatest of all time. I think that he betrayed everyone who he loved or who loved him. To get his position to come and finally chase answers as to why his dad went crazy. Yeah, the king. Uh, the king went crazy. That's rough. I'm here for you, buddy. Especially if you've got maybe like a discount. My friend. My first and only friend. You must think Walt is a monster. And perhaps I am. But my heart is true. If nothing else, believe that much. Crazy. As soon as he had me on Discord, I'll send you that. It's just put it in the, uh, just put it in the, in the global chat. Let everyone see him. Why not? I have enough questions for the both of us, my friend. Will that be all? Yeah, that'll be all. Bye-bye. my friend's journey. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Walt. I hope you find whatever closure you're looking for, you, you, you mess of a man. What's happening? We're being attacked. Oh, there, what the hell is that? What is that? Whatever it is, it's bloody big. Okay, he's attacking Doggo, which is just absolutely nice. Uh, I'm going to take out these things with the Tesla gun. I think the shock is probably going to kill him. Or not. That's fine too. You want me to just post the edit? Yeah, why not? I'm trying to uh, build up a community on Discord. 
Uh, honestly, right now, the tripled enemy spawns is definitely making a huge difference. I'm going to swap my weapon. I think we may have just survived. I think we've survived it all. Yeah, just post him. Post him. It'll be, it'll be fun. Okay, I will actually go into the Discord and introduce yourself because there's a couple of people in there who have been turning up quite regularly. Scott and uh, Dog Shark. They've been turning up uh, pretty frequently too. That guy is sus. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, this is Root. We're in Root country now. Whoa, that's an exploding guy. Good thing you didn't hit me. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go, great. Oh, that costs a lot of ammo, actually. Wow, that costs so much ammo. Uh, let's go over here, see if we can't find something nice. We've got some lore. All is lost. The great goddess has spilled the lifeblood of so many. She claims she will spare those of us left if we return Thalos' body to her, but the Vaunt burned it long ago to hide her their guilt. Bulls and cowards in kind. King Thalos was deserving of funerary rites and proper intimate. He was a good king, a true pan, but it is done. The cowardly vaunt have hidden away the king's throne room, awaiting my vile work. I feel the judgment of my ancestors as I defiled this body. I wrapped the corpse in the king's robes and covered its face with the perfect lightness of his crown. But the goddess will know that this is not the king. She spent entire lifetimes with him. She will know. How did it come to this? I was once an honorable widow. Now I can only hope this foul and unforgivable act does not condemn the pan to our ruin and me to my death. Okay, so Widow, uh, that's kind of like the uh, Queen's Guard. We actually have that armor on us right now, but we traded it out for whatever we're wearing right here. I think I saw another enemy perched at... Nope, that's definitely just a statue. Okie dokie. So let's persevere onwards. I don't know if that's a... Definitely not a rude dude right there. Why did I pick this path? This is a horrible path. This is a terrible path. I posted them to the chat. I'll take a look once I'm finished with the stream. I think the others will uh, get to it first though. Okay, who's attacking us? That thing! That thing's attacking us. Excuse me. Okay. Let's peg him right in the face a few times. Good. And now we will actually get our ass kicker out, I think. Do a reload. Okay, he fired a bunch of lasers at us, but oh my god, that hurt. That's not good. Okay, I actually tried to dodge through that last one, but it didn't quite take. For that. Excuse me! Okay, we don't want to be caught inside of the water over here. So we're going to have to be a little bit cautious. My bullets are not getting through that guy's corpse. There we go. Got him. And this thing right here. Dodge! I didn't even really need to roll. I just kind of dodged it naturally. Okay, what's through here then? This looks like a, a huge location, if I can be quite honest. Okay, we're probably going to be attacked up here. Oh, what's hmm. this? This looks important. Yeah, it doesn't adjust. Actually, that looks exactly... Is that the Red Widow? It might be. Let's check. This armor looks sick, by the way. This armor looks absolutely sick. I hit the wrong hockey. Maybe not. Maybe it's not the Red Widow. Looks very close to it though. Okay, let's put the other helmet back on just in case we forget. Okay, I am also hearing kind of like music. I'm hearing a bunch of music, but I'm not entirely sure if it's good music. I wonder if we just hit the lever if it's just going to open or if we have to fight something big. We probably have to fight something big, right? Oh, here we go. Yep, that's what I assumed. Okay, we'll go this way. Because I see a lift at the end of this path over here. We can't go that way. That's egress. Gotcha. So, we'll come back down here to where we've already fought some enemies. And then we'll keep on pushing along. Is Flying Horse in the Discord? Yeah, he's in the Discord. He's in the Discord. Uh, he's somewhat active and he's somewhat not. Okay, we're being attacked. Probably didn't need to do that second dodge, but we've got free stamina, so it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, we got a chest here as well. Excellent. And around here we've got some more loot, but not a huge amount of Never mind! I actually see an item just over here that we can take. Yoink! What is it? The Thalos Eyelet. Okay. 
I don't know if this is going to be a item that the lady is going to talk about or not. It very well might be. Hard to say. Hard to say, hard to say, hard to say. Oh, hello! Whoa, oh, damn it! He absolutely nailed us too. What else is attacking us? Nothing. Oh, there's actually a path up there as well that we could probably take. Good to know. I think this might be the way to get there. Just down here. And that's definitely an elevator that we can just take now. What's up here? Ooh. There's a path just over there. And there's also a path going this way too. I'll take all of this loot. I'll look down here. That's a special. Piss. Okay, that's the simulacrum. We definitely want that. Let's pick it. Let's pick this guy. Okay, good. We uh, took that hit, unfortunately. Oh! What? Okay, I actually wanted to anchor against that enemy, but it didn't quite allow us to do so. Let's do it here. Okay, we need to, like, dodge way later than we think. Here we go. Wonderful. Good. Okay, he's going to do a screen, but it's not actually going to help him because we're going to kill him straight up. Here we go. Good. Ooh. That was, uh... That was tricky. Oh, hello. What are you doing out? Okay. We got one more hit that we can take before we are in a bad spot. Let's just start firing and hope for the best. We've got unlimited ammo and we've got a damage bar. Great. I didn't want to dodge into that. Piss. What? That was a good dodge. And we'll dodge away. Dodge away, dodge away, dodge away, dodge away. It would probably actually suit us best to... Oh, that was bad. Okay, we don't want to get hit again. Damn! Okay, we're dead. We didn't want to be hit by that last one, unfortunately, because we already used Doggo Revive. That special is annoyingly slow. Like, I think that's the main issue that I have with it, is it's just annoyingly slow. And again, annoyingly, we are now further away than we should be, which is just the pits. Hello! Hello, friendos. I suppose that is the curse of having triple enemy spawns, but it's absolutely fine. We'll continue onwards, and we'll try maybe to get back to where we were immediately, even if it's not really realistic. We'll get our Tesla gun out, because we are being flanked by a lot of enemies. Yep. Doggo's attacking something that's not even in our area. He's found hot singles in our area. Damn, I was hoping to reload. It didn't quite take. Still have to reload anyway. Good, got him. Okay. I'm gonna use a Dragon Heart. It's probably a stupid place to, to use one, but we really needed to anyway. Hello! There. I think Manticore is what these are called? Oh, hello there, Pop. Got another Manticore in front of us here. Great. Tesla gun's still doing a huge amount of work. Let's push onwards. That was hectic. That was actually quite hectic. This close quarters environment actually kind of tricky to dodge in. Hello? Hello! Okay, we've got a couple of things after us here. I'm gonna dodge through that, because I can. And now we push onwards, onwards and upwards. There's a thing up there. Probably don't want it though, it's just crap loot. Hello! I saw him before he even spawned, which is quite good. All right, I tried to dodge that, but I have my gun still up, unfortunately. Up and shouldered. Okay, there we go. Great. I think we should probably start specializing our trade points into reload speed, because that is the thing now that is let us, letting us down. Okay, we'll go back up here. We're still being attacked? No, we're not. Very cash money. Piss. That's not good. That's really bad. Okay. Maybe there's a way of getting back up there. I don't know. Ow. I just face tank that shot straight to the head. Okay, let's try to go around. I see a chest here. We're probably going to get attacked as soon as we loot it. We did not, which is pretty impressive. Is that a simulacrum? Score! Simulacrum! Okay, there is a special up here, which is maybe not amazing. It's probably going to do a couple of attacks on us. Good. Mm, didn't really do as much as I thought he would, to be honest. Okay, we weren't standing under any of those petals, which I actually knew. Good. Didn't mean to take that one straight to the straight to the face. Take his ammo, of course. Okay. Let's gap it this way. Wait, apparently there's still something over here. What could it possibly be? 
No, it's not ammo, because we are picking up all the ammo. This is not it. That's just some hardened iron. So this is that area that we were looking at that we were saying was just not worth coming to. And ironically, it had a simulacrum up here. I'm sending memes. Send all the memes you can. I, I dump memes regularly. Fairly regularly. Well, they're pretty regularly, considering how old the Discord is. Okay, doing pretty good. Oh my god, that guy actually really knows his stuff. He did a, a, a big roundabout. Did a big roundabout with his weapon. Okay, what's in here? That guy looks absolutely fried. Bunch of crap. Okay, not particularly interested in this. Oh, what if we hit that other guy who was down at the bottom of the place that we were just at with the dream catcher? Oh, perfect. There's a lever right here. I thought we had one chance to get up there, get the thing and get out, but it doesn't seem like that's the case at all. Oh, I just discovered ping. Okay, maybe we go up and then as we're coming down, we'll go into this cave right here. Which is actually not marked on the map whatsoever. Okay, I've got my spines. Actually, no, let's not get the spines out. Let's anchor and then we'll fire uh, just a heap of rounds at it. Because I know that they're going to bank the shots over. Okay, good. Uh, whoops, I absolutely took that one straight to the dome. Right, it's going to do a scream. We're going to get out of the way and we're going to fire our load again. Okay, good, and we got it. Unfortunately, all of his loot spawned up outside of the map. That's a bit of a damn fart. Now, there should be one more up here. What is that? It's nothing. I don't see the other one. Maybe the specials don't respawn when we kill them. Never mind, I found it. Oops, missed. There we go, got it. Okay, there's actually a couple of them down here, which is maybe not the best thing in the world. Okay, he uh, speared us, which is not good. I'm going to use Dragon Heart. And then I'm going to do a uh, dodge, and he's going to do a drop slam, and I'm going to jump through it, and I'm going to jump through that, and also through that one. Very good. Okay, good. He's doing a big scream. I don't actually care about his screaming. I can do screams as well. I didn't even bother to dodge that guy. Okay, we took that one. We're going to dodge that one. And hope... No, he didn't. He didn't do a third. Okay, got him. Wow, that was tricky. Okay, what is this? This is the Trinity Memento. That's Actually, we've got a couple of items now. I think we need three of these, because it, it's a Trinity Memento. We do a Minecraft series together. Do you want to start a new map or play on one I made? Uh, I will be doing a modded series at some point, and I'll open it up to, like, the public. Okay, we'll pop on through here. I really have to, like, plan out my series these days, because... A lot of content that I do that goes unplanned with people I don't know very well ends up being a bit of a waste of time, even if I have fun doing it. So I can't really make videos on it. So if there's a YouTube video that I want to go out, probably can't be done with friends. I tried doing Ready or Not with a friend and it was fun enough, but I, it wouldn't be fun to watch. So I've got kind of like another bit that I'm going to be doing with him. I'm going to be playing the game wrong, the, the game completely wrong. Like it's a, it's a tactical strategy shooter. I'm going to be playing it wrong. I'm going to be playing it like it's Doom, and I'm going to be getting all of the, um, all the, all the top scores, all the unlocks. We've already been here. What the hell are we doing here? We've been here! Okay, there's a couple of deer. Well, not anymore. The goddess's rest. Okay, I'm going to reload. We'll pop our Tesla gun at him. And then we'll move onwards. This way might be the way. Or maybe not. Maybe one. No, we definitely want to go this way. I think there's a dead end at the end of here. A dead end. Never mind. This is actually a path. That's another one of these things that we can just pop for fun. Uh, I'm going to fire a gigantic amount of ammo just into this crowd of enemies over here because I can. And I'm too far for the Tesla gun to really be effective. Doggo, eat him! Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so this is... Why can't I pick this up? There we go. Got it. I'm still looking around for things. I'm not really seeing a lot of things. There's some free ammo right there that I am going to take, even though we still haven't run out of any ammo for this gun right here. Uh, and we'll push on down... We could probably go this way. Well, it's kind of secret. I mean, like doing a vanilla Minecraft, a non-modded, just regular series. You can do the modded one. I wanted to do one without mods, because I see you play with other people, and I wanted to do a game. Yeah, 
it's one of those things though, isn't it? When you watch YouTubers play with other people, it's real easy to get a little bit jealous of it. But the reason you're probably getting jealous of it is because it's so well curated and everybody's kind of also doing their own bits. If, if you kind of get what I mean. If you kind of get what I'm, what I'm putting down here. Uh, last time I played Vanilla Minecraft though was in like 2015. I haven't played it in a long time. There's been so many updates that last time I fired it up just for fun, I was so overwhelmed with all of the additional stuff. Uh, I, I got put off it very, very quickly. It, it, it got too big for me, so to speak. Because it used to just literally be Lego for grown-ups. With us. Us? Who's us? Are there more people? Have, have you got like a crew together? I'll join for a crew. I probably won't make a series on it though. I'll probably just turn up and play for fun. Because again, like you, you got to put a lot of love into a series for it to actually end up being a series. Okay, no like hidden rooms down south. I recognize this tower actually. We've seen a bunch of them in the base game. I'll come down here. Yeah, don't see anything off of the edge here with us either. Yeah, I can do it for fun. I just won't be spending um, hours and hours editing it. Actually, it might be good practice for you if you want to get into editing. I would highly recommend uh, DaVinci Resolve if you're going to start editing things. Because so many people now use DaVinci Resolve that... Oh! I knew it! So many people use DaVinci Resolve that uh, you will work really, really well with YouTubers just by um, kind of familiarizing yourself with it. Okay, so we need a combination here to unlock this. No, just me? Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Skyblock would probably be the one then. The two people, Skyblock is uh, pretty good. Because otherwise we'll just be separated for the, the ends of the earth. Because <laughs> again, I have played a lot of vanilla Minecraft, uh, a lot of it with friends. There's not like a secret code in here, is there? What are we looking for? We're looking for these uh, dials right here, aren't we? Okay. A lot of stargates. This one looks like a uterus. That one looks like a deer. This one looks like a penis. I don't know why. This one also looks like a uterus, but in a different way. That one looks like a tear. This one looks like a pokeball. And there's the Tower of Sauron right here. And of course, whatever the hell this is. Right. Okay. So now we know kind of what we're looking for. Is it down there? Is the answer down here? Maybe? Maybe? No. Of course not. Why would it be down there? We did find a secret wall. That's pretty good. That's pretty cash money. We're going to have to go around and we're going to have to look for uh, sigils, right? We're going to have to find a bunch of sigils now. So I'll keep an eye out. I'll keep an eye out for sigils. And if we see any, we'll take notice of it. Or even maybe screenshot it. Because uh, even though I'm now medicated for my memory, still not the most reliable thing in the world. Okay, how many specials are after us? Just this one? Probably just that one. Okay. Any sigils on the statue right here, Potter? No. I'm going to hop off the chat for a bit because I'm getting tired. It's left me. It's 11. That's absolutely fine. I'll be here for another uh, couple of hours just recording. But uh, you keep healthy. You keep happy. And I'll see you next time you pop up to the stream. Do take note. I now stream on YouTube almost exclusively. Uh, Twitch really let me down for a, for a number of times. So I'll be here. I'll be here. And I'm aiming for daily streams. I won't be able to maintain it every day. But I will be kind of aiming for daily streams. What? Oh, no. There's, a, there's an actual special here. A detonator special. That is a first. I've never seen one of those before. Is it like spawning these things? Where is this thing? What? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Let's pin it. Let's put a pin in that. Uh, let's use a dragon heart. Uh, I missed the dragon heart. Whoop. Okay, missed it again. Let's use another. There we go, good. I think he's actually spawning enemies around us. Okay, good. Unlimited ammo now. Boom, 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 boom. This place becomes your tomb. I'm gonna keep on shooting. Oh, no. Uh, uh, big booms, big booms. Okay, let's get to the Tesla gun out because there are so many enemies around us now. He's gonna do a melee attack. I'm not vibing it. I think he's doing a big shockwave now too. So let's get out the Tesla gun. Take out all of these enemies that are around us currently. Because I think... His spawns have now also been tripled. Okay, let's get this one out. Good. Good. Whoa, no! That was so close, actually. Uh, I'm gonna start firing away. We've got unlimited ammo again. 
Almost got him. Almost got him. Almost got him. Got him. Great. Why isn't it? Why aren't his abs dead? Hello? I can't believe I just killed him with the dream catcher. That's hilarious. Bye, Vin. Bye, Mads. What do we get? Oh, I just resurrected Doggo. Nice. Nice. Oh, that feels good, actually. Okay, so that's enough. That's all the time I've got for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Remnant 2's Yasha DLC. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And why don't you go into the description of this video to find a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community personally. And until I make the next episode, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!